What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562. It's Julian. And Mike, and this high school football playoff video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. St. Anthony on the road at Salesian tonight in the Division 10 semifinals. Look at that crowd. It was packed, a sellout. Some fans arriving 90 minutes before the start. Just things you love to see, Mike. Well, you've got to come show up for a Del Rey League grudge match. These two teams played a 43-41 thriller a month ago with the Mustangs taking the win. St. Anthony looking for some revenge and a berth in the championship. First play of the game, Connor Hochberg with a short pass to play through Q Playbrook, who gets a nice block from Tyler Henry and had 73 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. 7-0 Saints right off the bat. Yeah, look, he was fired up and rightfully so. Just early momentum for the Saints on the road. You need that. Mustang senior quarterback Marcus Martin had five court touchdowns in the first meeting. What would he have tonight? Well, early on, he didn't need to as Darius Action Jackson takes a pitch 47 yards down the left sideline. 7-7, seven, seven, three minutes into the game. I think defense is going to be optional. Yeah, I hope everyone took the over on this one. Uh, it's the ball goes back to the Saints. It's time for your weekly Sony LPU highlights. He hit 2,000 total yards this season tonight. He had a 17-yard run around the left side here. Yeah, look at that quick first step. And if there's a hole, he's going to find it. Also with the wheels, 54-yard run gets the Saints into the red zone. But a cut block would move the team back. But... That, those, that duo again, 25 yards, 14-7. Saints, yeah, dance over there. 14-7, 220 left in first. Hochberg and Claybrook absolutely unmesswithable on this evening. The strong St. Anthony start continues. As Martin scrambles to the left and finds Edwin Matnerosa. He gets a welcome present from Anakin Alpi. The ball forced out, and Sone Alpi recovers. That's an Alpi connection on the first fumble and the recovery. And I appeal, uh, this is the easiest touchdown. One yard out, 21 7. First play in the second. The Saints, um, they're marching on early. After a three and out, Hochberg a little dink and dunk to Alpi, who does the rest for 20 yards, and it's 28 7 Saints with eight minutes left in the second quarter. We were not kidding about defense being optional. <laughs> this was a lot of points early on. And yeah, opposing coaches have got to be thrilled that this stud is graduating. And then things go from bad to worse for Salesian. Martin throws it behind his receiver to Claybrook, and you know the drill. If you pick it, you have to six it. 76 yards for the score, 30 Five, seven. We're still only midway I, through the second. I don't even know what I would do if someone picked it and didn't six it. To be completely honest with you. I might just completely come out of my cleats with frustration. Mustang's leading receiver, Anthony Reddix, was ridiculous, but he was quiet until the second quarter. He got going there. Martin, the easiest pass of his career, so he flips it to Reddix for 19 yards in the score, 35 14 Saints, midway through the second quarter. The second quarter just did not end. No, I think it was uh, over four hours for the second quarter. <laughs> Maybe that was a little later in the game. And Mustangs, they had a chance to score late in the half. It's Martin going to find Marvin Denson for 41 yards. Just throw it up to him, and he's going to get it. But this was sort of how the first half went. Martin's going to see Action Jackson, but he's going to drop a would-be touchdown. The final play of the half, Saints dodge a bullet. They're up 35-14, heading into the goal. But you know with a rivalry game like this, it's going to go down to the wire and Jackson would make up for it. He gets by a defender and makes a nice grab to cut that lead to 14 points midway through the third quarter. And then IP, he's going to show, wait, he's human? As he's going <laughs> to fumble and the Mustangs are going to recover and suddenly we have ourselves a game. But the Saints defense, they're going to stand tall. Third down. Marvin's going to go deep. Claybrook and Remy Dorian going to team up for a pass breakup. And then on fourth and 15, Martin's going to go deep, but right into Ryan Norid's hands. He's going to bring it back for a nice return. And I think the Saints, they practice interception returns because they're pretty good at them. They get a lot of them, and you can see it is like a kickoff return. I was bummed out to see a pick with no six there, but a great play by Norid nonetheless. Alpiu with an I'm sorry gift to his teammates, making up for that fumble with a 43-yard bye-bye. Saints up 42-21. 42-21 with three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Feeling good right now. And the Mustangs, well, they figured out, I guess we're going to have to score every possession to keep us in the game. They stopped running the ball, and it was just Martin. I mean, he threw 60 times this game. A dunk here to Miguel Torres for two yards on the score. 40 to 28 early in the fourth. But, uh, yeah, we're just getting started here. Yeah. 
42 yard touchdown run. Alpia's next carry is, it's another touchdown. 55 yards untouched. Shout out to the offensive line holding him down. 49-28, um, 11 minutes left in the end. And again, you want to say that feels like a fairly safe lead as Daniel Milnes can feel a win coming up. And he's fired up on behalf of that Saints offensive line, the purple people eaters. But here comes the Mustangs. Martin DeJackson, first third score of the night, 49-35 with 8.07 left. Saints starting to get banged up in the secondary. And Martin's he's starting to see it. He's going to feel himself. Nice protection here to Denson. Um, maybe a push-off? I don't know. A bit of a push-off. <laughs> 43 yards for a score. It's 49-42, just like that. Five minutes left in the game. Saints still clinging to now just a seven-point lead. Now, how can they respond? They need something. The Mustangs have the momentum. Carl Lara telling his team, please, go move the ball. Alpheu gets a short game on second down. It's going to set up a third and manageable. Hochberg going deep to Claybrook. But it's incomplete. There's, there's some blue jerseys over there. And then on fourth and four, they go for it, and they get five on the completion to Norid Wowzers. Raul Lara, the steal to go for that one. But a costly penalty would move the team back, and IOP gets eight on third and 15, and that's gonna, they're going to have to punt there. So they get a nice punt. A little friendly bounce here. Salesian, they're going to have to go 83 yards to tie it. A minute 58 left. Martin evades some defenders and rudd down the left sideline. Saints defenders thought he was going out of bounds, but he didn't. And he's going to go 45 yards. Now he's in Saints territory. Costly mistake right there. Uh, tough to make a mistake like that in the semifinal. And they're going to keep moving the ball to the Saints 11-yard line with under a minute left. It's really nervous time now for the Saints. Third down, Anakin Alpiu jumps the route but can't quite hold on to the ball. That brings up fourth down. 26 seconds left. Yeah. Game on the line, what are you doing? I'm just happy I wasn't a coach or anything because I don't think I could have handled it. <laughs> and Martin on fourth down is going to find Denson. Somehow comes up with the ball. We're heading for overtime. I mean, you can see the frustration from the Saints players, but before you get to overtime, you got to make an extra point and not so fast. Senior, how Ipu Laulu gets a fingertip on the ball and blocks the extra point. Saints up 49-48. Keepot, they call him. He said it was the Samoan in him that gave him the boosties on the jump for the biggest block of the year. The double thump to end all double thump. Salesian still with a chance on the onside kick, but it's not going to go far enough. And that's a penalty and the ball back to the Saints. A big Sigh of relief for the Saints as they somehow hold on to beat Salesian 49-48. They're headed back to the title game for the first time since 2016. Saints will be at Northview at the Provina District Field next week. The time and date will be announced on Saturday. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. A lot more Saints coverage coming your way this season. you got to keep it right here at the 5-6-2.